Gentlemen, today's video falls under the category of how did this slip through the cracks? I have talked about manscaping a ton of times. Everything from your happy trail to your testicles to your taint and your tush. We've addressed it all. So I thought. Then I got an email the other day from one of our friends who's like, yo, Alpha, I'm getting into the old whole manscaping thing and I really don't know what style to go with? Well, this is a great question, my friend, and one that I am incredibly qualified and happy to answer, because the only thing I like talking about more than the fashion anchor, Pete and Pedro, and T. Shanley are pubic hair styles. And so today, I thought we'd talk a bit about the man bush, more specifically, man bush management. I'm going over five specific hairstyles pubic hairstyles that you have to choose from. So when I got this email, I actually started thinking, I'm like, huh, I can't believe nobody really has ever addressed the shaping and the different options that are out there in terms of pubic hair. And what I've come up with is that there are five acceptable pubic hair styles. Style number one, we're going to call the Uncle Barry. The Uncle Barry. Pubic hair style is exactly what you would expect your Uncle Barry to have, which is a massive mountain of unkept curls. There's no shape, there's no structure, there's nothing. The pros to the Uncle Barry is basically it's easy. You don't have to do anything. The downside to the Uncle Barry is that all that hair traps odor. So not only is he incredibly hairy, he's incredibly stinky. Not to mention his little soldier looks super small. I don't want to spend a lot of time in shaping and I get it. You might want to choose number two, the natural. The natural has no defined boundaries. You're still going free form amoeba style, but it's trimmed up and shorter. For the natural, all you're going to need is a facial hair grooming tool. Set the desired length with the attachment and go over it. I would also feather in the thighs and make sure to take the testicles. Actually, I think all testicles should be shaved. Under no circumstances should you use a razor minus the attachment to trim your testicles because you will be a bloody hot mess. Instead, opt for a smooth shave. Brought to you by today's video sponsor, Dollar Shave Club. Dollar Shave Club is just a smarter choice. Why would you spend more money than you need to to get a great shave. Dollar Shave Club, you don't have to. There's a special link. Not on any link will get you there. This one in the description is special. It's also for a limited time. If you hit that link, you're going to get one month of the executive razor, four blades, along with a tube of Dr. Carver shave butter. Oh, that's a, and, and the reason I actually don't have one to hold up and I have to use a graphic is because it's at home in my shower. <laughs> and I I forgot it as I went to my studio, but that stuff is freaking incredible. The feel of it is amazing. Oh, I forgot the offer. $5 free shipping after that just a few bucks a month did you lose the offer guys there's a link down below if you hit it you get a month's worth of amazing executive razors and a tube of the dr carver shave butter bang that is incredible for five dollars after that it's just a few bucks a month no long-term contracts no hidden fees just amazing blades and super smooth nuts number three the triangle with the triangle pubic hairstyle, we're now defining the boundaries, nice clean edges. The triangle is a very stylish look. It combines the longer hair of the natural by using the facial hair grooming tool at whatever desired length you choose, but then it's taking it off and it's shaping around it, giving a nice even boundary. But for those of you looking to take it to the next level, you might want to go with number four, which is the alpha. Bang! The Alpha, which is a strip of hair running from the navel down to my junk. The Alpha pubic hair style is one that I've been rocking for a while. Um, I know you're probably thinking, oh, it's good to change up your style every once in a while. Well, pubic hair, not so much. I like to keep it sophisticatedly streamlined, like a little racing stripe. <laughs> Super sophisticated, right? Anyway, the way I do that, facial hair grooming tool, bang, up the whole thing. Same length, and then, boom, take Take it off, trim all around, and bang! Dollar Shave Club for the shaft and the alpha nuts. And last, but certainly not least, pubic hair style number five, the preteen. The preteen is characterized by no pubic hair. Some dudes like to go completely bald eagle, no hair. The downside is that it can be a little bit, it can look like you're 12. The upside, there's nothing that makes your junk look bigger um, because there's nothing to detract. It's just like boom or boom, whatever. And if you're boom, then you probably want to go shorter rather than longer uh, because it does make everything appear visually a bit larger. Do not shave with the razor your 
pubic region. Um, in terms of like above your penis, below your belly button. The razor gets it so close and the skin down in that area is so incredibly sensitive. Not to mention you're wearing underwear, you're wearing pants, and there's constant friction and rubbing. Um, I have never been more uncomfortable than the time I actually shaved my pubes off with a razor. It started to grow back, it was a bumpy, ingrown, hot mess in my pants. But the base of my penis, my testicles, razor, I have absolutely no problem. Now there is a, a, a finesse that comes to shaving your testicles. Um, you want to make sure that the hair is short before you just start going nuts. If it's all like troll doll in a headlock, that's not a good place to start. You want to definitely take the length down with facial hair grooming tool and an attachment. Then go nuts with the razor. Make sure you're using a shave cream or soap. Pull them nice and tight. Lift them up and go nice and easy. Anything else, facial hair grooming tool without the attachment works really well. Like I said, but keep this away from your testicles. That soft skin gets in those blades and bang! Ah! I'm curious, what style is most popular? Down in the comments, let me know what you rock. Think of this as like an Alpha M study. But instead of scientists, there's me. Instead of lab rats, there's you. Gentlemen, down in the comments, let me know what style you grow.